I'm Kurt Loder with MTV News. Eurythmics are now off to Australia, having wrapped up their U.S. tour, promoting their Top 40 album, We 2 R 1, on Wednesday night at the Universal Amphitheater in Hollywood. Because so much of this Eurythmics show is done acoustically, during their U.S. tour, they arrived at airports around the country, all set up to do little musical press conferences for local media. We caught up with Dave Stewart and Annie Lennox in Chicago recently and asked them how they come to stray so far from their synth rock roots. Especially in America, we find that um, because la large corporations are jumping onto uh, music, well, cinema as well, and trying to make everything into a kind of nice package, so you get, in the end, you get like just dance groups making records because they dance good, and also they'll promise to drink a bit of Coca-Cola in the middle of their dance routine. And it's getting further and further away from um, the reality of what songwriting was about. Because for me, if there's no sort of an anarchy in a song or no kind of, I don't know, no edginess to uh, anything creative, and it just looks like another product, then it's really dangerous time. So we thought the best way to um, get our songs across in some ways was to strip them naked and just sing them. You know, we can sing any one of our songs, including A Sweet Dreams, which is all synthesized on acoustic guitar and it stands up as a song. Put your trouble down upon me, baby. 